I started when I was 19 years old. And Dawn Schink didn't mess around when it came to looking ahead to her future. I look forward to retiring someday, and I know a lot of people around my parents' age who have retired and turned around and went back to work, and I hope that will not be my issue and I could retire and stay retired. This is actually the, the fund that I was referring to. According to Jim Farmer, an investment advisor for First Makers Trust here in Quincy, Schink did everything right when it comes to saving for retirement. If you're if you're a young person who is, is thinking, well, why would I want to think about retirement? It's, it's way down the road. That's the reason why, because it's a small problem to solve now. And as you get older, it's going to become a bigger and bigger problem. Farmer says investing in a company 401k, even if that means putting a small portion away each week, could mean big bucks 40 years down the road. You started at age 25 and put $50 a month in. So a very, very modest amount. And you increase that by 2% a year just to, just to keep up with inflation. After 40 years uh, in this fund, you'd have over half a million dollars. So what were to happen if you waited 20 more years before starting that retirement plan? To accumulate that much money, you would have to put in more than 10 times as much, over m more than $500 a month to, to have the same amount when you're when you reach 65. In some retirement plans, employers will match a certain amount of money that you put in the 401k. If you don't have a 401k, there are individual retirement accounts that can be set up for saving. Putting money into a retirement fund can also have tax benefits. With certain IRAs, taxes will not be due on retirement earnings until those dollars start coming out of the fund. And while it may seem like a hassle now, Don Schenk recommends it to anyone who does not have an account. Start your 401k as soon as you can. The sooner, the better. You can start low and you can always add to it. Jack Pluta, KHQA News, Quincy.